Welcome. In this session, we're going to explore machine learning with the Iris R language gateway. My name is uh, Xiaobin Song. I'm a system developer at uh, InterSystems. First, I'm going to introduce Iris R language gateway. Then I will give a brief demo to explore simple machine learning algorithms from Iris. After the presentation, you will learn how to interact with R from Iris and how to use different R packages. R is an open source programming language. It has a known history. R is widely used by statisticians and data miners. As of 2021, it's ranked as the 14th most popular programming language. More importantly, there are more than 15,000 packages available for R. Anything you can think of, there's a R library for it. R gateway is built on top of Iris Java gateway. An open source third party Java library R engine resides inside the Java gateway. It serves as the R client, which talks to the R server through TCP IP. R server is a R library. Uh, it turns R into an R server. So the workflow is Iris talks to R gateway, R gateway talks to R server. The Iris class talking to the R gateway is called R connection. It has three key methods. First, assign. Assign passes data from Iris to R as an R variable. Second, eval. Eval passes R scripts to R for evaluation. Third, get. Get passes the content of R variable to Iris. Equipped with uh, these methods, almost anything R can do, we can do it inside Iris. Uh, this just concludes the brief introduction of our language gateway. If you have any questions, please uh, contact us. Bob is our product manager. I'm the developer. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to give the demo next. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to build a decision tree machine learning model using R. The data set I'm using is the famous Iris data set. Iris here means Iris plants. Don't confuse it with the uh, Iris uh, platform. The data set is stored in an uh, Iris table. And let me open the table and uh, the table has five columns, pedal length and width, sepal length and width, and species. The goal is to build a model to predict iris species based on the iris plant flower sizes. Uh, this is how we build the model in object script. First, uh, we create a connection to our server. Then we node some uh, R libraries. Uh, you can see anything inside the uh, evil, there are R scripts. First, we know the protein package. Uh, next, we know the package called uh, carrot. Carrot is uh, classification and uh, regression training package. It contains the decision tree algorithms uh, we wanted to use. Uh, next, we create a data frame from the iris table. First, we specify a SQL statement. Uh, it selects all the columns from the table. Then we create a 
data frame from the SQL statement. Then we pass the data frame to R by calling assign method. This will pass the data to R. And the R variable of this data frame is called iris. Next, we create uh, partitions from the data set. First, we set a random seed. This will make the model building repeatable. The next three nines will divide the data set into a training set and a test set. The training set will contain 70% of the data set and then the test set 30%. Next, we're going to train the model. Uh, first, we set a feed control, use tenfold uh, cross validation method. Then we train the model, use the training data set. And the algorithm we use is called uh, R part. When the training is done, we'd like to evaluate the model and see how accurate the model is. We create a confusion matrix, then we print it out. Next, we use the test data to test the model. We use test data set to make uh, predictions and then compare the predicted species with the actual species. So then we print out the content of this table. Uh, let's run the program. Uh, first, we have to start the R server. And uh, okay. from uh, R console, we know that the R, R, R server library. Then we start R server. Once R server is started, we can run the program. Yeah, you can say it runs very quickly because our data set is uh, small. It has uh, only 150 rows. Uh, let's look at the run results. First one is the confusion matrix for the trained model. Confusion matrix is also called match matrix. It matches the predicted value against the actual value. And all those numbers will add up to 100. And uh, the bigger the diagonal numbers are, the more accurate the model is. Actually, the accuracy is the sum of the diagonal numbers. So in this case, the model accuracy is about uh, 90%. For the test data set, we have a similar uh, matrix, and we can say the model accuracy for the test data set is about uh, 98%. This concludes our brief demo. Please contact us if you would like to have more information. Thank you.